It feels like we are making some major progress at the cottage. And since the framers have finished inside the main house, we can start the fun DIY restoration process. But I had no idea our first DIY project would be three weeks of hard work, but the outcome was so worth it. I made myself a deal and a promise. I will not. Me physically, I will not be the reason that anything with this house renovation gets delayed. I will not hesitate. I will not wait to get back for someone. If I need to do something, I drop everything else I'm doing and doing it right then. And that is what I've been doing. And so far we have been moving really fast. Got the house leveled, got the framers out here. I feel like renovations of old houses kind of scare subcontractors because they don't want to mess anything up. They know how if someone gets an old house, they kind of care a lot about it and they don't want to break anything, especially windows. So I made them a deal on the windows. If they just put in the frame, just the frame, and I have the frames already down, I was going to take out all of the windows. I will come back with the window with the glass in it, that part, and I will install those myself because I know how they came apart, I took them all out. So all of the original windows, even if they're not gonna be in the exact same place they used to be, they are going back into the house, just reimagined. So since I made them that deal, I've gotta separate all of the windows from all of the frames and put them in the exact places that they have to go. And then I've labeled all of the glass that goes to that particular window. So these four are the double dining room windows that they're gonna be installing the frames to. So these two are the kitchen, this one says extra on it because I think this one was like the most damaged one window pane. I think over the years too, they kind of painted the double hung window shut, like the top one. So a double hung window, the top comes down or the bottom can come up. They both move. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna take the whole thing out. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this one's not even in there. Like it's like held up by nails. Didn't really take care of things, you know. So the windows that are gonna go in the kitchen used to be in the craft room. If you guys remember that, it was the windows that overlooked the falling down hot tub room. We've come a long way. Those were the perfect size windows to sit above the countertop in the kitchen, but then still go up to the height of the rest of the windows in the house, which are a hundred and a half inches. They used to be together like this. You see how the two, two frames are one with the trim, the outside trim. So we've got to get them off. They're really dirty. Zero chance of rain today. Zero. Zero today, zero tomorrow, zero through the weekend. It's about to rain. Meaning I gotta bring everything back in here. And the wood was delivered this morning, which means is it going to get wet? Yes. I'll be right back. I'm so pissed right now. I'm soaking wet. It's in my eyes. Look at this. You guys, what? Not supposed to rain. Not supposed to rain. I did everything in my power to save that wood. Why? 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 Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> it's the next day. <sighs> it rained and then it stopped, sun came out and then it rained again. So I'm so glad I covered everything up. All the wood's still covered. I can't take any chances, you know? I have a helper because she felt bad that it rained on me. I did. I was supposed to get so much done yesterday. I was supposed to sand all these. Nothing happened. We've got two sanders. We've got plenty of sandpaper. Also have a razor blade for the glass because there's a lot of paint on the glass of the old ones. We're gonna strip all the hardware off and then we're gonna go over it with a coarser sandpaper 
which is 60 grit. Get all the debris and the rough stuff off. Then we're gonna go back over it with finer grit, which is 220 that I have, ultra fine. That creates a very smooth surface, ready for primer and paint. windows for about an hour so we've just accomplished one and a half <laughs> I bought this new stripper because the other stripper really wasn't cutting it Duman smart strip advanced paint remover removes up to 15 coats ooh, ooh it is whippy My neighbor actually let us borrow his heat gun and he was like that's like the best thing that he's ever used to restore the windows and it's working so good on all of these like corner edges so that we can just get all the paint off. Oh, yeah. I think the stripping kind of works. Oh yeah. Look at that. You guys this really is just peeling off but it's so messy. <laughs> I don't love this process but like it is working because watch. Like it just peels right off. Oh my, I cannot tell you guys how long this process of these windows and stripping them and getting them ready for painting. I couldn't have done it without my parents. My mom, mommy, you wanna come say hi? How much you put into these windows and every time you look through these windows, you're gonna be like, we did that. <laughs> I'm not talking about days, I'm talking about two weeks now. Not every day, but hours on hours of stripping. There was glaze that they had used on the inside just to hold the windows in and it was like goopy and not a polished, restored window like I wanted. Everything that we could get our hands on, we used to get these windows to the state. So we are finally ready to paint. So a special thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. If you guys saw several videos ago when we were talking about the exterior paint color for the house, we tested a lot of off-white paint samples for the exterior of the house, all from Benjamin Moore. I love that Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 unmatchable colors to pick from, which is giving me so much creative freedom when doing my room makeovers in my house in LA for different friends and now with this house we were able to test a lot of different off-white paint colors with a lot of different undertones so I could really pick the exact perfect shade of white for the base exterior of the house. With Benjamin Moore you get a quality paint at a great price and they even have their color portfolio app that you can download straight to your phone and you can walk around your house and really get to visualize how different colors will look in your space. You can upload photos and do the same thing. We're gonna be using the app a lot <laughs> during this whole renovation process. But since White Dove is going to be the exterior base color of the house, like all the siding, I didn't want the trim and the windows to also be the same color. I wanted there to be some dimension, some like, you know, just interest to it instead of being all the same color. So I ordered some samples of the trim color I liked from BenjaminMoore.com so that we can really see all of the colors and the elements together so we can really finalize these colors and start painting. Let's start with what we know. We know that the house is white dove. We love. So I'm gonna paint a strip of white dove here so that we can kind of see the trim, get to imagine it, live with it for a little bit. White dove is so pretty. It has like some, a, a green warmth undertone, which I really love. I've been living with it on the front of the house in a swatch for a couple months and I love it at all times of day. We also know that we're going with black by Benjamin Moore for all the windows. Also for the black windows, 
We went back and forth on whether it was just gonna be this double sash, the window panes itself, or it was going to continue on the jam on the inside. So here are two pictures. One, you can tell that there's just a lot less black and it's just the window panes themselves. And then this one is like all the way. And I love how substantial the black looks. When the jams weren't painted black, it almost made it look too insignificant or puny is not a good word, but it just didn't have the power that I wanted it. Okay, so we have three trimmed colors that we're testing. One is Manchester Tan, which I've loved for a while, but I do think it might be too contrast. I do want some contrast, but not a ton. And also we have Deep in Thought, which is from Benjamin Moore's Affinity line, which is really pretty. And I just wanted to test going one step higher on a color card from Benjamin Moore. So White Dove is OC17 and Dove Wing is OC18. I'm like, maybe that's just our go-to formula for doing exterior base color to trim color to add a little bit of difference. This is Manchester Tan. It's too dark. I think that this one is a nice middle ground, but I think it might still be a little too uh, contrasty. This is deep in thought. This one is Dove Wing. I actually like it. Yeah. I just don't know if it's enough contrast. We are priming the windows with Benjamin Moore's Fresh Start High Hiding Primer, and this works great for indoor and outdoor projects. And we're going to be doing two coats of this primer. So we are hanging them because we're actually going to spray the windows because it just gives it a nice, like, no roller finish. And my dad has, like, an excellent paint sprayer, so he was like, let's do this. Let's see if you like it, and then you can work on them, like all the other windows. Vision's coming to life, you know what I mean? And this is just one coat. Also, you guys, spraying your paint is life-changing. Okay, now that we have the windows all done, we have to work on the jams because this is the part that I actually want black as well um, so that there's just a nice, thick kind of black surround. And then the trim is obviously different on the exterior and the interior. Feeling in my phone. I can feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change Six hours later, I finally got one, two, three, four jams sanded and ready to go and like the pieces back in, you know, the little moldings and stuff so I can just spray them all at the same time. So I was originally going to do this by hand. I was so mind blown by my dad's sprayer. I've never used a paint sprayer before. I was like, this is so much easier. I went and bought one for myself. But this one plugs in. My dad's has to be plugged into an air compressor, but I wanted one that was more accessible and easier for me. And I heard good reviews on this particular model. I'm gonna prime tonight and then paint it black in the morning. Woo! These windows, you guys. I don't think I've ever spent this miss much time on a project. Like, and they're looking so good, but like, good Lord. This is great for doing walls too, because I was like, we have so many painting jobs to do. Guess what, you guys? <laughs> it's raining again. 
but I did know that. So it's only been raining for about two hours. Early this morning, I was able to get the jams painted black, which was excellent. So we're making progress. One more project that we need to do before we install the windows themselves. And it's the windowsill on the double window in the dining room. Mom's over here double checking our measurements just to be safe. The windows that we're actually using for this space were double windows somewhere else in the house. Um, but when the framers came and framed this window situation out, they put too much space and I didn't catch it in time. They actually put four two by fours next to each other for support-ish. We could have gotten away with less, but because they did that, the old sill, which is this guy that's all cut in the right spots, isn't gonna work. I would have to cut it and spread it and I'm not, I'm not too sure. So I could actually correct that measurement when we do the guest bedroom and I can use the sill there. So it's not gonna go to waste. Wood and FYI, wood prices drop drastically. So the new wood for this only cost me six bucks, which was really exciting. So basically we figured out that we need three more inches on the inside. We're having to push the measurements out a little bit. In and out of love. Never get enough We never seem to get older When things are going right You seem to have the time But when it's hard you just grow cold up And fingers crossed Oh yeah, it's backwards obviously The seal part goes on the outside But rain, you know Look at that, we did that Hi, Mom. Yay! New sill. It's install day. It's finally install day. This project of just these five windows, two here and three over there, so 10 sashes but only five windows, has taken three weeks. We're definitely gonna have to do this in stages. So we're choosing progress over completion at this point. Progress is good. We have all the pieces ready. We can put them together. So I wanna start with these two in the front. Now, some of the windows have glass. Some of the windows have broken glass. Some of the windows have no glass. And I was talking about it with my mom and we don't think that it's smart to put glass in at this point because it's gonna get broken by the workers that are here maybe maybe not but why chance it so we're gonna put in what we have wait have a glass company come out and do it all at once or i can buy the glass and we can do it all at once when the major construction is is done so okay so we're gonna start with this double we have our window sill that we made i'm kind of proud even though it's just cut wood i'm proud look at this i've never cut kind of like pieces out of something like this like in the middle I was pretty proud of myself. Okay, so we need to install this first, but it should be pretty simple. I'm just gonna make sure that it's centered and then nail it in with my three inch framing nails. <sighs> Look at me. <laughs> I know all of these things now. I even made this edge kind of like angled because that's how the other ones were. I used my circular saw to do it because it can pivot on an angle. You can't really tell on the camera, but I know it's there. Next step, this guy. It's it fits. Definitely a forehand job. I couldn't hold the window frame and nail it. I overestimated how much I was capable of by myself. We have the trim piece in place, so now we're going to nail it in. I did it! Did good. Somehow. Okay, and since there's so much space in between these two windows, we're just going to do a larger trim board. Um, so we have a 12 inch trim board here that we cut. Look at that, voila! This is, that's very similar to how this window was originally when it was in the dining room. Um, it's just a little more space than it was there. It was like nine inches and now it's 12. So, okay, a little more trim. Scratch that, we didn't like it. And we had to improvise because boards are not, I, I mean, we knew this already going into it, but boards are not exactly the size that they say they are. So a 12 by one is really an 11 and a quarter by three quarters. Whoever did that, 
I know there's speculation they may be like dried and stuff. <laughs> I, whoever did that is not not cool. It's not cool. Had to be me. Anyways, <laughs> you said it, not me. Split them down the middle, and it's actually a little too small. So we're just gonna come back with some decorative trim in the center, and then it'll break up that long piece. So we're gonna try it. Out. I think we're on the home stretch. We just have to string the weights and put in the windows. <laughs> Granted, we have no glass in the windows, but at least we're making progress. So we're doing them original to what they were before, which was the cotton cord. I thought about doing metal, which I still think would be really pretty, but I couldn't really find it in anything other than silver. And I, I would want like a brass. So I think the cotton is good. So it'll look like that. Kind of pretty, huh? I was not a Girl Scout and I didn't learn crazy knots. Let's see if I can make a good knot. It's actually gonna stay. <laughs> Now granted, don't look at the glass or lack of glass. <laughs> There's that pane has glass. Don't look at that. Don't look at the center because we're gonna be putting molding. Don't look at the siding and don't look at the topper because we have to actually put the topper, the unique topper that we had previously back on the house. So this is the original topper that was on the single window here, which is now a double window, obviously. So we're gonna be re doing it a little bit just to extend the edges out so that it fits above the window. So it goes all the way to each edge. I just feel like this window should have always been double. So much better and more balanced. I'm so proud of those windows. Three weeks in the making, but we have three more to do. Two jams and then three sets of sashes. I'll spare you the work that I've gone through. It's in three, two, one. You thought that would be finished, huh? Of course it would have to start raining yesterday, right? So I couldn't finish. <laughs> but I did get this far. Well, we have a few problems. Two sashes of their one, two are missing. I think I miscalculated. We have other windows of size that need to be restored throughout the house. There's four more. For some reason, they're not all the same width. Some are about a half inch wider than others. Well, I had no idea. Two of the windows that we actually restored that are now black and ready to go in are too big for the top. Two right there. Also, I think I did too many bottoms. I don't know what happened. I just did the wrong windows. Also, I don't know if you could see on camera, but this window over here, this window is slightly lower than the two new ones. <sighs> I was so upset last night. When they framed it, they just framed it too high. Well, I have to raise this window. It's very inconvenient, but it's not a big deal. It's possible for sure. Um, so I'm gonna be raising this window up the three quarters of an inch that it's off because I will never be able to live with those windows not being the same height. But progress. Also, I got a, a skinnier piece of board for a trim piece for the center right here. Since this board wasn't big enough, we thought it would be a cooler, little little better design feature if they actually had a board in between. It would break up that flatness that was a 12 inch board. Obviously all gonna be the same color. It would basically resemble board and batten on the outside of a house. I'll put in a picture so you can see it. 
but that's basically what it would look like. I think it would add a little more detail to it. Comment down below what you think. Mom's coming over to look at it too to see. So the original hardware to close the windows was in really bad shape in the house. So I knew I was gonna have to probably buy new. These sash locks are pretty inexpensive and I got antique brass to match the hardware or the sash cord up at the top. So I think they're gonna be really pretty in contrast against the black well. There is still a lot of work to be done on the windows. We've got them all painted. They're all perfect. We got hardware on. We still have trim, glass, and weather stripping to work on. And I wanna do some more research on the weather stripping specifically for these windows so that we can just make sure that they're perfect the first time around but we're definitely making progress. Update on the hardware. So you see how I did one lock, one hardware lock and one hardware lock. And they're off center because that middle bar comes down so you can't put the lock right in the center. And I was like, oh, it's gonna have a half center. And I was like, but it's okay. I made them balance so they were opposite. Then I was in the coffee shop and I looked at their windows because their windows are really similar to mine, double hung. And they did two locks. One here and one here. And I was like, Oh, I really like that. So it's gonna be an extra, what, $3 per window to put double lock, but it's gonna look a lot more balanced. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These windows are a beast of a project. This is only five sets of windows, so 10 sashes. We have 17 windows that need to be restored for this house. But these were the big ones. There's only four more big windows and then everything else gets gradually smaller for like the guest bathroom, the primary bathroom, the kitchen. They're all a little smaller. So hopefully they go a little faster, but we are definitely going to do them in stages and it's all going to be the exact same process. And they're all going to be black with the black jams, but I am loving how it's turning out. Definitely comment what you guys think about the trim color. I'm definitely leaning towards dove wing, which is just a step in that direction. I do wish it was slightly more contrasting. So maybe we can test some more colors. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday. If you've missed any of the renovation videos, I have a whole playlist. You could binge watch them. This actually was the first project that is like a new thing going into the house, like, or what it's going to look like or be, which is really exciting. I need to put a pin in the window restoration for a little bit and work on something different so that I come back refreshed so I can tackle the windows again. And I will see you guys again next Sunday for another video. Bye guys. Ow. <laughs> I hit my head on the window, mom. <laughs> I hit my head on the window. We should rename this house the Swatch House. I got swatches all over. <laughs> There's literally, look at the leaves. There's literally no wind. <laughs> the wind blew it. There's no wind. I'm trying, I'm not.